In this problem, we're going to look at how to solve the uh, problem, th th this problem. A private plane flies from Seattle to the wilderness at 110 miles per hour. The plane returns at 132 miles per hour. Total travel time is six hours. So the problem asks you, what's the distance to the wilderness? How do you solve that? Um, you, know, you look at that and you wonder, is there, is there even enough information to solve it? Let's do it. Okay. Uh, first of all, what do we know? Well, we know that pl the plane flies to a certain place. So velocity, or velocity speed, times time equals distance. So our speed was, our velocity was 110. Velocity is technically different from speed. Don't worry about it. it so the speed was 110 miles per hour. Some time, I'm going to call it time one, equals some distance. Distance is what we're solving for. We also know that the plane flew back at 132. You'd be there in a hurry, just wanted to get home. I don't know. They flew faster than way. Might have been hit, might have had good wind that way. But they went the same distance. So the thing to realize that both these people went the same distance um, because, you know, it's the same distance over as it is back. So, we have two equations here, with, but we're given another piece of information. The total travel time is six hours. So, T1 plus T2 equals six. Okay, now that we have this information, what can we do with it? Now, that we want to make this as simple as possible, so we want to solve for one variable at a time. How are we going to do this? Okay, one thing we can do, we could take this equation, solve it for t, and plug it into here. Could do that. Um, Let's see, t1 plus t2 equals 6, so that means t1 equals, I subtract t2 from both sides, 6 minus t2. Do you see how I did that? Should I, should I clarify? What I did was I took t1 plus t2 6, and I subtracted T2. So T2 minus T2 is gone. Okay. So, now I have T equals 6 minus T, T2. Let's, let's put that into here. What do we get? We get... 110 times, what's T1? T1 is really 6 minus T2 equals our distance. Um, I don't want to deal with distance right now. That's an extra variable, one variable at a time. Let's just solve for T2. I know that D is the same thing as this, so I can just replace this with 32, T2. One variable, we can deal with that. Okay, let's solve this. If we can solve for T2, then we can get T1. Once we've got T1, we can solve for distance. Actually, once we get T2, we can solve for distance, couldn't we? What do we need? Yeah, that's enough information. Yeah, we're, we're almost done here. We're faster than I realized. So, 110 minus times 6. 6, 6, 0. Uh, 110 times negative T2, we get minus 1, 1, 0, T2. Equals 132 T2. Okay, let's add 132 T2 to both sides. 
two, cancel out. Zero, T two, we get two, four, two, T two. Okay, so we now have six, six, zero equals two, four, two, T two. Okay, we've got a division problem right here. Divide both sides by 242. 242 divided by 242, we all know that. A number divided by itself is 1. Okay, so we have uh, 660 divided by 242. I cannot do that in my hand. Pull the calculator out. We have 660 divided by 242 gives us T2 equals 2.7. Well, we have a whole bunch of decimals here. And you know what? We don't need all those decimals. Because those decimals will go on forever. And it's, we, we don't even know it that accurately. We, um, I'm going to round it to. No, I don't know. Once again, I didn't check how much this problem rounds it off to. I'm going to guess it's going to round it off to one decimal place. Um, so I'm just going to say 2.7. 2.7 hours. Um, now, I'm not, I'm just putting this here, give you an idea of what it is. When I actually do the calculation for the distance, I'm going to use this number. Because I don't, when, when I'm still doing calculations, I do not round until the end. Okay, so I'm going to take this number. Uh, distance, which is what we're actually solving for. 132 times T2 gives us distance. So, let's take this number and multiply it times 132. We get, oh, that turns out nice. Nice, pretty number. We get a distance of 360. Now, if I had rounded before doing this, what would I have gotten? Let's find out. 32, if I had rounded to, to here, this is good for putting an answer in, but it's not good for calculation. If I had put that in, I would have gotten two, sorry, 356.4. Um, which is not a great answer. It's off by quite, by several miles. No, so don't round off until the end. Now we have our answer. That's how you solve it. If we wanted to go ahead and solve for T1, we certainly could do that too now. Since we have T2, we could plug it back into here. But this problem doesn't require it. That's how you solve it. Remember, a bit at a time.